Hey everyone, before I get into this video, um, yeah, I just got reminded we're giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. Look to the pinned comment uh, in the or the uh, link in the description to enter. Uh, we're winding that giveaway down this week, so good luck. Now, this is going to be a spicy topic. This is going to be a probably somewhat controversial topic for some people. And I want to talk about this uh, specifically because I am deeply ingrained in the Zelda fan base. Uh, I actually used to work at this particular outlet, Zelda Dungeon. Uh, the person who owns it actually bought out my prior outlet that I worked at for a decade and ran uh, as editor-in-chief and Zelda informer. Uh, I helped popularize a lot of the Zelda uh, YouTubers you guys know today. Zeltic, Commonwealth Realm, those are two of the bigger ones out there. Uh, I was there at Zelda Informer pushing their channels when they had zero following. So I've been deeply ingrained in the Zelda fan base for a long time, deep in the forums, uh, deep on, on pretty much anywhere you could think of. I have probably forgotten more Zelda knowledge than most of you even have ever known, especially since Breath of the Wild came out. We have a whole new fan base coming in that doesn't even know the intricacies and all the lore and the old school timeline debates before Hyrule Historia dropped and all this jazz and how Elden to the Past was a prequel, then a sequel, and just crazy stuff out there if you dive into Zelda lore. But we're talking about this because it's not I got nothing against the original author of the piece on Zelda Dungeon. Uh, Alexis Anderson is free to have her own opinions, uh, but the reaction of the internet to this, uh, and in particular a place that we sometimes cover for news, really irks me. And people are going to say I have no right to talk about this because of the color of my skin. Uh, and this is where I think a fundamental issue occurs whenever we are talking about really sensitive topics that potentially have to do with race. Uh, I don't care about the color of my skin. You shouldn't either, to be completely honest. Um, when we talk about racism in a more general sense, the idea of racism is to be discriminatory discriminatory towards someone uh, because of the color of their skin or maybe potentially not necessarily even the color of their skin but potentially maybe even where that person came from as an example technically i could be like from germany and i could be white and i could be racist against polish people who are also white so it's not just about the color of the skin although that is generally what we perceive it as here in the united states so you know you kind of have uh what 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 do they call uh you know black people i guess or like yellow pe I, I don't even like using these colors i think it's stupid heck even among uh certain colors they can't even agree because like they'll be like black and brown but they're who really cares just one's darker than the other who who gives a crap i'm white who gives a crap like it doesn't matter the color of your skin has never mattered to me it's never mattered to me when i was a kid and it doesn't matter to me right now but saying that there is something to be said about cultural diversity, and there is something to say about cultural backgrounds. And I can agree to a certain extent that at times video games, uh, especially growing up, really heavily favor the white uh, perspective of race and backgrounds. Primarily probably because most of the people making these games were generally white. Uh, that has changed now. Uh, we have much more diverse developers and studio leads, just like we used to not have females as studio leads, and now we do. So there's been a, a much more diverse cast of uh, game makers out there to correct some of this. But I have an issue when someone comes in, and, and, and basically this is the title of the article on Zelda, and it says, Diversity in Zelda, the Need for a Black Princess Zelda. And then when people react to that, and when... Uh, a really sound point is made uh, by someone who can associate themselves uh, with that sort of community of uh, color where people get mad at them for thinking that, no, we don't need to have a black Zelda. So let's get into the article so we have full context here uh, because I don't really care if they make Zelda black, but I do have some opinions on this that I, that I think uh, should stand out for our Zelda conversation today. So it says, Princess Zelda is a multifaceted character who has developed from a damsel in distress to a powerful political player, a researcher, a sorceress, a warrior, a leader, and a legend. By virtue of this complexity, Zelda is an inspiring female character who breaks down gender roles game after game. 
I'm not sure that Nintendo cares about gender roles with Princess Zelda. Anyways, despite her many changes over the series' 35-year history, Zelda has never been anything other than white. This is a shame and a missed opportunity to signal a woman of color their potential to be legendary. All right, the need for change. Black women in America right now are constantly bombarded with content and voices. Of note, by the way, um, Zelda isn't made in America. It's made in Japan. I, I, I want to make this clear here because when we're talking about, you know, when you bring up black women in America, I don't know what people like developers in Japan are supposed to know about that, about anything that black people in America are going through or people of color in America are going through. I don't really know how you expect Japanese developers who are having their own issues in Japan uh, keep up with what's happening in a completely different country. I mean, I'm in America. I have no idea what the issues are in the UK. I have no idea what the issues are in Japan. I don't know what the issues are in Australia or Spain. I, how can I expect them to understand America's issues when I don't understand theirs? So that's something to consider when we're talking about trying to compare what's happening here with the people who actually make Zelda games. All right. So, uh, bombarded with content and voices up to the highest echelons of society, which suggests that they do not matter, that they are inferior, and that they are not deserving of respect. I can't speak to this from personal experience. Uh, any and every symbol of black power goes a long way to dulling these knives. To that end, a black princess Zelda sends the message that black women are not just minor characters or antagonists, but complex heroic figures of vital importance. Okay. Uh, Zelda and Link always being portrayed as white suggests that only white people are capable of protecting the world. And frankly, that they rightfully control it. Okay. This is likely in no way the intention of those at Nintendo putting the games together, but may reflect an implicit bias among creators that ought to be challenged. This change is particularly possible in a series where the main trio of characters are unique manifestations of the Triforce throughout time, as opposed to the exact same character in every game. But they're also both Hylians, and the Hylians are a white race. Whether you agree with them being a white race or not is a totally different story. But technically, they come from a lineage that is not of dark descent. I'm just throwing that out there. It would be a little strange to see these characters come in with a different color than the actual race that they represent. Anyways, this change is particularly possible in a series where the main trio characters a unique manifestation of the Triforce throughout time, as opposed to the exact same characters every game. Even an interpretation requiring a blood relation to the original goddess, hero, and demise does not preclude more diverse representation by these figures, because it's very unlikely the bloodline would experience no interracial interventions across all of time. The only other like humanoid race that we're aware of are the Gerudo. I'm just throwing that out there. I think that's the only other humanoid race, I guess, that you could maybe intermix in there. All right, let's let's go on here. At least that exists in lore uh, with, with uh, Zelda. All right. Uh, and there's nothing to say that the same spirit can occupy a body racially distinct from those in its past. The impact on black women. Black women are capable of anything, and the media we all consume should reflect that. Breath of the Wild is a brainiac, and black girls, or Zelda is a brainiac, and uh, Breath of the Wild, Zelda is a brainiac. Breath of the Wild, okay. I don't like that sentence very well. Just how it's structured. That's just a, a minor a minor critique. I, I know I don't run these websites anymore. So anyway, oh, um, and black girls seeing themselves in her way may or seeing themselves in her may inspire them to be equally as intellectually curious, especially since the Zelda happens to be a committed daughter with some heavy burdens to bear. As so many black women are devoted to family or community and have institutional inequalities uh, to attempt to push through Zelda's political prowess is also a fantastic aspect of her character uh, to see oneself reflected in. And thankfully American politics is beginning to reflect that as well. Zelda is generally having supernatural abilities is also important. Black women would see power and magic uh, as theirs to play with when a black Zelda is shooting light arrows or smoking the competition in Super Smash Bros. With that, Princess Zelda being black would mean the possibility of her being black in spin-offs, cameos, mangas, fan art, and more. This depiction of such a significant character as black would mean so much more than representation in a single game or a single medium. This series is in a unique position to change the race of its most prominent characters without requiring much of an explanation at all. Though I don't think 
it should shy away from making the princess race part of the narrative either. Her gender has been at issue in the past with her brother thinking himself entitled to the power of the Triforce in Zelda 2. That that happens, but that wasn't a that wasn't a gender thing. I don't I don't All right. I got I got to stop right here. That So as a storied Zelda historian, I went into my past already. Um, what her brother did in Zelda 2, uh, where he felt he was entitled to uh, the power of the Triforce, had nothing to do with the gender of Zelda. And it goes on to say her having to disguise herself as a male Sheikah has nothing to do with Zelda's actual gender. There was no gender identity crisis there. She was in hiding. Okay? In Zelda 2, her brother was just being a prick. Okay? Her brother was being a prick and wanted power for himself. He didn't pretend to be female to get that power. He Zelda didn't pretend to be a different gender to maintain the power of the Triforce. Z Zelda's gender had nothing to do factually with what happened in Zelda 2. And the whole disguising as a male she can she was in hiding. Zelda was in hiding. She wasn't having a gender crisis or a gender identity issue. Factually, in the story, Zelda was hiding. What's the easiest way to hide when you are a female princess? Dress up like a man. Same thing for a guy. If you're a guy, a prince, and you're in hiding, guess what? Dress up like a girl. It's going to be much harder for people to find you because they're looking for a man. They're not looking for a female. There wasn't any gender identity crisis for Zelda in Ocarina of Time because she was in hiding as a male Sheikah. Come on. Come on. Anyways, uh, so I wouldn't put it past Nintendo to deal delicately with the subject of race uh, if part of the royal family of Hyrule was black. Speaking of, to depict the family which resides over the great kingdom of Hyrule as black would add to the growing number of depictions of black people as royals. Black Panther, uh, Beyonce's Black is King, Shaare, and the Princess Power Biggerton. Um, so, of these examples she brings up, I just want to note that these are IPs where the characters in those IPs started out as black. They weren't... Um, racially white skin complexions that became black these were black characters from the beginning you could equally argue what would happen if black panther became white would people not just get super pissed about that why change the race of some of a character that's created to be a certain way all of which contribute to the idea that being black is limited uh, to any one lived experience and allows people of color to occupy roles traditionally depicted by white people. Broader implication. I could easily ask the same question about Link. In fact, we did in 2013, and uh, they, were, they did have an article back then. I'm not going to go revisit it, though. And the analysis would produce a similar result in portraying black men as courageous, determined, loyal, kind, sometimes goofy do-gooders. These questions take on particular significance when only one bearer of the Triforce coded as non-white is the power-hungry antagonist. All too often, the media portrays people of color and LGBTQ plus individuals as conniving, immoral aggressors. To see people of color habitually cast in more positive roles would do wonders for dispelling stereotypes and boosting self-image of those represented. Given how fraught the relationship between black and white people in America is in this cultural movement, seeing a black Princess Zelda would be a firm accreditation of black women as the bold, brilliant, Brilliant heroes they are. It would be a statement of allyship from Nintendo as well as a highly visible and impactful piece of positive representation for a community so often underappreciated in the video game industry. Ultimately, it would encourage players to sympathize with black female character, to care about her, and to accept that she matters. Um, okay, so I guess the idea here is that a Gerudo uh, woman, I guess in this case, would hook up with the king uh, and produce a uh, female heir that's Zelda, that's Zelda, a black Zelda. Here's the problem. that just, just from a factual statement, this has nothing to do with race. Zelda is obviously the future queen of, of, of Hyrule, correct? When her father passes away, uh, or her mother passes away, Zelda takes over the throne, right? So how does the lineage of the royal family continue? Well, Zelda has to have a son or a daughter, 
correct. And all the Zeldas so far have been, you know, Hylian and thus, you know, quote unquote white. So for her to have a son or daughter, uh, she would have to, uh, that's, that's colored because to continue the lineage, to continue the royal family, she would have to be with a colored male person. The Gerudo race only has one male born every 100 years. That male would be Ganondorf. So Zelda would have to hook up with Ganondorf to produce a black princess. That... Do you see Zelda doing that now? I understand that that I, I just I I guess I don't understand like what there there isn't really a way in the lore to make it work without creating a brand new race, which Nintendo very well could do. Uh, they could create a new race in the game that is more equally represented. Obviously, we know the Grudo race is like all females except for Ganondorf. Um, so I, I we run into an issue here where. We're just trying to change a character's race to change their race, to try to make a political statement in a country that Japan doesn't really pay that much attention to culturally. I mean, if you look at the themes in Zelda, there's almost no American themes in the game. I mean, they've even gotten in trouble for some of the Asian themes they put in there, uh, you know, references to Muslims and stuff like that. Like, I don't really understand the perspective that we need to take existing heroic characters and just boop, race change them and think that's going to solve the world's problems. The problems with race are very real. Racism is a despicable thing. Anyone that looks at another person and even gives two shits about their skin color, to me, that's a problem. And the, 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 the dumb thing about it is me saying that how many people are probably down in the comment section right now, dismissing what I'm saying because of the color of my skin, kind of proving the point. You shouldn't care what my color of skin is, and I shouldn't care what yours is. It really doesn't matter. That's the whole point of not being racist. To not be racist is to stop looking at people's color of skin as a defining characteristic of them as a person. I'm not saying that you can't be culturally sensitive to your history. Or to where you're from. But it should be about that. It shouldn't be about the color of your skin. If you don't want the color of skin to be this defining characteristic of you as a person, then stop bringing it up. You're talking about black women. Why can't they just be women? Why can't they just be men? Why does it got to be black? Why does it got to be Hispanic? Why can't we just all be people? We're just people. We're all humans. Inside, we, we have the same organs. Blood, the same blood, even though there's different blood types. But we have the same internal makings. The outside is just a different crayon. Oh my gosh, my son colored, a crayon. Let's colored someone blue. And then he colored someone black. He colored someone white. He colored someone pink. It doesn't matter what the outside looks like. What matters is on the inside. And if everybody thought this way, there would have never been slavery in any way in any culture because we would not have looked at people as lesser than us because of the color of their skin. We're all equals. And I'm a religious person, so even though I don't bring up religion very often, you think God gives a crap what race you are? What color of your skin is? We're all equals. Now look. I'm all for having more diversity in gaming more diversity in pop culture. And that is why we need to create new IPs and new um, movies like Black Panther and stuff that diversify to make things more acceptable for everyone. Now you could talk about how, well, that's the whole point of making Princess Zelda black or making Link black, right? Because it just makes things more acceptable. But you're also not accepting who those characters are. You're not accepting the lineage that they can, that they contain. You're trying to complicate things in the Zelda universe for the sake of a political message. To be a sign bearer for things happening in countries that Zelda's not even created in. Capcom, 
Japanese company. Koei Tecmo, Japanese company. All the companies that touch the Zelda franchise are from Japan. Who knew that they would make Japanese culture be representative in their games, which happens to be predominantly a white race thing? I wouldn't expect a Japanese company that makes their games in Japan to make things that don't connect with them. Where's the considerment for the developers that are not concerned what the players are doing? They're concerned what they want to make, what their creations are, and how they want to connect through their creations. I'm all for diversity, but let's do it right. You should want your own powerful characters. Black Panther is a good... You brought up three excellent examples in this article. These characters were not white characters reimagined black. They are strong black characters from the very beginning of their inception. And you would be super upset if someone suggested we recast one of those characters as, I don't know, an Asian character. Think about how mad people get when, you know, white actors or white lighter skin actors portray characters that are intended to be a certain way, intended to be a different culture or a different skin color. And then imagine what happens if you would create a, imagine what happens when you take characters that are predominantly a different skin color and you say, we need to change your skin color just because. Can you not connect with Zelda as a woman? If you are a strong female, can you not connect with Princess Zelda because of the color of her skin? Does the color of Zelda's skin really matter? Well, the argument in the article is that it doesn't, right? The article in the article is that it doesn't matter. There, there's we, we can make the color, the skin color work. It really doesn't matter if she's a different skin color. Well, if it doesn't matter that she's a different skin color, then all the things you're saying changing that skin color would represent aren't, aren't really relevant then because you should be able to connect with that character anyways because this color of her skin shouldn't even matter. Isn't that the whole point that we talk about racism is that the color of skin isn't supposed to, we're not supposed to look at people's color of skin. We're supposed to be colorblind to that and just consider people's cultures, like their backgrounds, and then consider people that um, are, uh, you know, I don't know. That's basically all I really look at it as, just consider people's backgrounds and cultures. So like, as an example, you want to empower black women to be, to be this, to be that, to be this. Well, okay. So Reset Era. Um, I follow, I follow, uh, so we report on news sometimes at Reset Era. I follow this conversation uh, from Reset Era Takes, which is like an anti-Reset Era uh, place. And they put up a thing back in, in, uh, in, in February. They quoted, you know, the thread, because obviously Reset Era is very social justice. Um, and they created the need, uh, the, the Zelda dungeon diversity and Zelda need for a black princess Zelda. Uh, and here's here's a couple of responses and how like the admins responded to it. So it says, uh, Dark Aider says, I'm black and I just think, no, this is not how diversity should be handled. So it's a black person who disagrees that this is how you handle diversity by changing um, the actual literal race of established characters, even though they're reincarnated or whatever you want to say. Stop with painting existing characters to a different color. That's not how it should be. And I can agree with this. Black Panther is the prime example of how it should be done. A character with his own lore and origin, not a recoloring of existing characters. I definitely don't agree with this thread at all. And then Ignis responds and says, the first sane post in this thread, I'm a brown man, and I'd like to say thank you. Basically, you have a couple people um, from you know the quote-unquote black community being like, hey, why do we want to rechange? Why do we want to change existing characters? Why don't we just focus on creating our own, like, Black Panther-esque community, create our own heroes, right? Like, why Why do we have to go in and change existing characters? All right, an admin response. Ne Nepenth? Anyways, uh, they respond to Ignis and say, It's funny how in a thread about black people, you as a non-black person, this is what I talk about with, like, racism, The guy has brown skin. Even among, this is what's weird, even among quote-unquote black people, there's like a somewhat distinction if your skin's a little bit lighter. Like you have the blackest of black, and then you have like brown and like medium brown. Like it, it, it's it's really weird to me. It shouldn't matter. Like the person identifies as black. He says brown man to, to clarify, you know, because people have to have distinctions. So I guess he's a non-black person now. I don't. 
Anyways, think you have any high ground to call agreement with the idea insane? And no, I don't care that you're brown. He didn't say that everyone else is insane. I think a, a more correct way to say it is probably the first logical post in this thread is that we should be creating our own heroes. Why do we have to take other people's? For like fact of the matter is, Link and Zelda are usually reincarnations. Zelda is from a lineage, by the way, of the royal family. The royal family, as far as we have known, has never ended. So it's a lineage. Uh, Link is just a Hylian. Um, Hylians are a white race. I don't know. Anyways, um, and the thing is, a blink, a, a blink, a black link's even harder to do because since the Gerudos only give birth to a male child once every 100 years, um, if that male child was Link, where the hell's Ganondorf? Oh, wait, can we make Ganondorf white now? Is that okay? Is it okay if we take one of the darker skin characters and turn them white I, I bet you you'd have a big issue with that because canonically there can only be one male gerudo alive I okay all right, anyways um the only thing that's going to do is upset diehards who, who think link and zelda being light-skinned is somehow integral to their personality without being able to explain why that is link and zelda are hylians and hylians are a white race Imagine if um, someone made a game ab about Black Panther, okay? And Black Panther turned into a massive video game franchise where the uh, racial background of the entirety of the community that Black Panther exists in, Wakanda, right, is black, right? It's a black community, a black um, race that exists uh here in this wakanda area now imagine that you, for you had decades and of of black panther games where the the hero and the villain or whoever are always are always darker skinned always black and then a they, they just decide you know what on a whim this time around the hero in this black panther game that's from wakanda by the way because that's the background of the character, you know, being Hylian, so being Wakandan, suddenly is white and a different race than the people that they're supposed to represent. Now, fundamentally, I don't really care and this shouldn't matter, but think what the backlash would be in that case. They would call it whitewashing Black Panther. But that's what you're suggesting they do to Link. They're, you're suggesting a dark washing of Link or a dark washing of Zelda who are representative of a race that happens to be white. Why do we have to mess with that? I'm not saying you can't have interracial relationships, but we already know in Zelda the only way to get that is with Gerudo, and Gerudo can only give birth to one male heir every 100 years, and that male heir is always Ganondorf. So, like, what... It, it makes you wonder... I mean, they clearly already racially intermix because since the race of Gerudo are all women, they obviously are racially intermixing with males in the first place, you know, white Hylians in the first place to keep their race going. They just always produce females except for one that ends up being a male. So there already is racial intermixing. I'm just confused. This is a, this is a really tough conversation. Um, anyways, Changing their skin color is not about to cause any issues with canon, uh, except that it does, especially for Link. It really does for Link. Uh, the only thing it's going to do is upset dyers. I think Link and Zelda being light skin is somewhat integral to their personality without being able to explain what they think it is. It's not integral to their personality. It's, integ it's integral to their cultural background. The same reason that you would be upset if Black Panther turned into a white person because it's not authentic to the cultural background of the character, uh, you changing the skin color of Link and Zelda is not culturally um, sensitive to their cultural background as Hylians. They have their own race, you know. Us, so whenever racism is talked about, it's always talked about in light of you know, that there was slavery at one point and blacks were enslaved, even though white people have been enslaved in the past as well. Not to the level, not to the extent um, of other races, but technically the Jews were enslaved. Um, other people have been enslaved over time. Um, it, it, it's not really right 
Uh, slavery is just not right in general. It doesn't matter what, what cultural background you are. It's just not right. But you would be so mad um, if we changed any sort of dark-skinned character into a light-skinned one because it's not culturally relevant. Hylians are a white race. Whether you like it or not, there is a cultural expectation of them being that skin color because that's the color of the race they're from. It's not about the personality. It's about the culture of their race. And the thought that Nintendo can't create any original IPs amongst some development of existing ones makes no sense either. A billion dollar company can't walk and chew bubblegum at the same time, apparently. So you're saying that they should change the skin color of these characters and then also create games that empower, you know, black people. They, they should just do both. I don't know. I think I've said my piece on all of this. Uh, I think this administrator is being, I, I'm not going to say racist, but really dismissive of someone who clearly fits um, in the entire conversation and shouldn't be dismissed because of the color of their skin, which I guess is the, what is so stupid about the internet is that if you're not the same skin color, you're not allowed to have an opinion. Isn't that racism 101? Imagine that I had a conversation, say, about schools, and I'm from a predominantly white community, and we have some dark-skinned people come into the school meetings and try to bring up issues and impose their will. Am I just supposed to dismiss them as, hey, why do you care? You don't matter. You know what we would be called if I dismissed what they had to say? I'd be called a racist because of the color of their skin. So imagine if you dismiss what other people have to say because of the color of their skin. What does that make you? Draw your own conclusions, everyone. All right, I know, rather serious topic. We don't talk about this stuff very much. Um, don't expect me to do a follow-up video to this or anything. Maybe we'll have a live stream conversation about it at some point. Um, I, I, Again, I'm not trying to get political here. I just... I get frustrated when people try to take my favorite series and make these fundamental changes that absolutely have lore impacts um, just to make a stand for issues that are happening in a country that this game's not even made in and not representative of the people making the game. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Try to keep it peaceful. I know it's going to be hard, but try. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.